As someone may recall, I was once a very happy owner of a used 13-inch MacBook from 2012. I sold it because I no longer needed it, plus I needed money. But Macs are like hard drugs, from which addiction develops very quickly. And I, knowing what Macs are delicious, once again bought myself a stress toy from Apple. I present to your attention a Strasbook Pro 15-inch screen made in 2011. As you already understood, this Mac cost me only $150. My last Mac cost me exactly the same amount, but that Pro one was a 13-inch dual-core calculator, which is only capable of confident walnut splitting. It's due to the aluminum case, which is as strong as the strength that true will exchange rate. By the way, I sold it for as much as $15 more than I bought it, so it's a profitable investment. In this monster, a mighty quad-core i7 is installed. It was a powerful CPU that became a main trigger in choosing a laptop for using it in various tasks. And also, what alternatives can the laptop market offer us for such money? Well, let's see, I wanted to buy myself a calculator for surfing, but also for some more complicated tasks, god forgive me, and I only have in my pocket, let's say, $215. So, I go to some website with electronics, yo yo, calm down, it's not advertising. And even if it was an advertisement, it would fit well. In general, I just want to show you, for example, I go to section with the laptop sold by price, no higher than $240, and what do I see? And I see here a dual core CPU in conjunction with the 4GB of memory and the shitty 500GB HDD. And that's for $240. Okay, let's say I am an enterprising lord and decided to take away my elder grandmother's pension, thus my budget has increased by as much as 65 bucks, and what do I see here? So the screen is not bad, anti-glare, dual-core Pentium, 4GB of RAM, the number of slots for memory modules is 1. Although this one even has an SSD, and for these they are asking around 300 bucks. Actually, for almost twice as much money we get a laptop although new, but not particularly powerful in terms of characteristics. But what can the secondary market provide us with? If we talk about Windows laptops, it turns out to be the same shit with similar characteristics, but twice as cheaper. Also in bad physical condition, with wheezing speakers and destroyed case. But among all of this mass of the same type of calculators, Apple MacBooks are quite good assembled for the same price stand out very much. Yes, and there are lots of Macs quite battered by life, but the one who is looking will always find. And on the third attempt, I found it. Now I'll tell you how sometimes it's hard to find a normal laptop on the secondary market, the third, because the first one for the same price arrived to the post office and didn't even turn on. Of course, I forgot to take a video about it, but it made three beeps with the frequency of how many seconds there I didn't count, as later I found out three beeps mean problems with RAM. It was most likely in a working condition, apparently when for some reason they disassembled and assembled the laptop, they forgot to make a test run for a verification before sending it, and they did not stick the memory in it till the end. Well, or I am fantasizing here and they just decided to scam me. The second mug that I ordered came with a centimeter scratch in the center of the screen, from which it was simply impossible to look away, and also there are four dead pixels in place of the scratch. It would be fine if the scratch was somewhere on the edge or in the corner, but not in the center. I don't understand the sellers. Why send goods, but not telling about its such obvious defects? Did he really think that I wouldn't notice this scratch on the screen, or maybe he thought that I would take his word for it and wouldn't check the laptop? Man just wasted my time and his, but the third time I was much luckier than the first two times, but of course it's also not what money I spent, considering that the charge in here is Chinese, not the original one, and also it seems that the dog chewed the cord. And there are a couple more nuances that I will mention a little later, in general that's what I fell for, the CPU here is a quad-core 8-threaded i7-2720QM, the maximum frequency is 3.3GHz and this processor is inferior in performance to the stock i7-2600 by only 20% and I will remind you that it's capable of lots of tasks. The strength of this laptop is the support of memory with frequency of 1600MHz. Yes, there are 16 gigabytes of RAM with a good speed, and in theory this laptop is able to handle a simple 4K video editing, but we will check this later. The video card installed here is Radeon HD 6490M. Its second name is Jimmy the Broke, broke because in that year's laptop GPUs were breaking frequently. 
And by the way, it seems like the video chip has already changed here, cause in conjunction with this CPU, a 6750 GPU should be installed, which is somewhat more powerful than 6490. In general, as I understand, it's better not to use it here so that it doesn't break again. In addition, there is an APU. As a storage device, there is 250GB Samsung SSD, which is already much better than an ordinary slowdown hard drive. But this is where the advantages of this device end. Next, I will tell you about a whole bunch of disadvantages which I found while researching this laptop. Well, the first thing that catches your eye is that according to the screws worn out by life, you can say that the laptop was disassembled and assembled dozens of times. A couple of them aren't even native, or they are native, I don't really know. I removed the lead, the degree of admiration and my pressure jump sharply. The battery here is 1321, exactly the one that was put in the Pro One in 2010. Although it should have completely different battery with a different name, and no, these batteries are not interchangeable, as you might think. And to be more precise, in the battery which should be in this mug, the plus is where this one has minus, and where there is a minus in this, there should be a plus. It may not be clear for you and may be not interesting, but believe me, if you became the happy owner of this laptop, then you would be interested in this issue. In short, I wrote one person who knows of that, and here is what he says about it. If you're interested, you can look for him by his nickname on YouTube, he knows on Max. It also isn't advertising. I just decided to thank the person so much for the time he spent. In general, Mac with this battery had to fry a little, but for some reason it's still alive with it. Initially, I thought that the previous owner decided to save on the battery and change it the pin out on the pad. By the way, I was thinking in the right direction until I bought exactly the same battery. In short, there are wires, pads and pinouts from other battery. When I found out it, I was very angry. Custom battery in the world. Do you know what it is? It's the smell of fried radiant sun. And the stench of flux all over the house. Perfect. As I said, there are as many as 16 megabytes of RAM, which is probably unjustifiably much for such a laptop. And also one of the RAM sticks, although it's not written on it, but I downloaded the Windows and looked, is working on one and a half volts. Not only they are both 16 chip, which means that they consume electricity more than 8 chip sticks, so another one of them is one and a half volt. By the way, on Windows 10 this laptop turns from a MacBook to a gaming laptop, but only in the sense that it starts to make noise like a powerful gaming laptop. <laughs> Again, I don't know what the reason is, probably the same as with the Mac Mini if you remember, Windows made voltage higher than necessary. Now listen. Yes, the fan is confidently going into overdrive, but this is until the laptop warms up properly. After some time, the symptoms go away and you can even work on this laptop. By the way, I asked the previous owner about this and he answers me in such an elderly voice and they just need to be oiled. Nothing, you're a young guy, you can handle it, not a big deal. Yeah, I will fucking do it. I would, if they weren't sealed here, where should I pour the oil? But in general, the laptop isn't bad, you need to change battery here and it will serve well until the GPU will not break, of course, as usual not bad for its money, nothing new. It has a card reader I need, USB ports, a very necessary firewire connector, a mini jack which I don't even have on my Xiaomi, and most importantly, a disk drive. A slightly dangling screen, but it's not a big problem. Ok, let's if you really liked this video, then I will warm up the video card properly and I will compare it to the built-in and discrete graphics in this laptop. We will try it in the editing using APU and GPU and we will measure how long it will be able to work with a new battery. It works with his native battery for only an hour, and a lot more. Don't worry, I will come up with a test of it. The main thing is you showing your desire to see it. The video will be released on this channel, so subscribe to it. Oh, they scummed old man again.